while this. Remember Colin Kaepernick uh, kneeling last season, and boy, holy smokes, did uh, people you know flip out about this. So he's taking. He was kneeling before games during the national anthem. And you recall people were flipping out about this, and even teammates were flipping out about this. The NFL was angry about this. There he is before the game. Well, now a Chicago Tribune columnist. Is coming out basically attacking the Star Spangled Banner as the problem, calling it a pompous battle song that we'd be playing before mm -hmm. NFL games. Listen to this. She has this to say. It's unbelievable. It's yeah. unbelievable. So here is what this writer says in her op-ed. She says, the Star Spangled Banner is a pompous battle number spurred by a petition bearing five million veteran signatures. Congress uh, designated it to the national anthem in 1931, but it wasn't until 1942 and our entry into World War II that it was played on loudspeakers daily before the games. And she goes on to say that people feel pressured to salute this flag. Why do we do this? We don't salute the flag or, use the, or do the Star Spangled Banner before watching a movie at the movie theater. This really made me upset, this op-ed, because what is so wrong with standing for something, with being proud to be an American, standing up next to our flag? I mean, it made me think about our military and how they fight for our freedoms every well, single she, day. She, she also takes shots at the military. Five million piece. veterans. Right. Unbelievable. She says that before the game, when did we start marching uh, veterans out before every game now? And she said, it, well, she said it started when the Pentagon signed this contract with the NFL and started throwing money at the NFL. And it's sort of, she calls it basically like false patriotism. Right. And she says the reason that Kaepernick lost his job, the reason that he lost his job is because he wanted to take a stand by kneeling against the Star Spangled Banner. She says he's a great quarterback. Actually, no, he lost his job because he's not a good quarterback. He's not starting, not because of this, because he wasn't good. Yeah, but she says that a lot of people need these backup quarterbacks, and instead they're bringing on, like, felons, people that can be harmful. They're not hiring him because well, of kneeling. And she said that is um, far less damage to do than someone that could hurt a team player. This makes no sense, but I think it all goes back to what do we want our identity to be in this country? Right. What do we want to stand for? I think that's what makes this country great. But a pompous battle yeah. song? Yeah. That's what she calls the, the national anthem, a pompous well, battle We could get into a whole big discussion on salary caps and why Kaepernick should or shouldn't be a player. The fact of the matter is, in this piece, she literally calls out five million veterans who offered their signatures so that we do this, so that we make the Star Spangled Banner a part of our, of our lives, because football is a part of our lives, for better or for worse. Think about that. She just called out five million yeah. veterans. What's wrong with embracing so our country and those who fought for our freedoms? I mean, what do you think? Obviously, the three of us here combined find this pretty disgusting. But what do you think about this op-ed? Should we be proud to be an American? Should we still use the Star Spangled Banner? Should we salute that American flag or, before a football game? Or the other side of her argument, do you mm -hmm. think that it's being used for making money for the NFL and being rolled out in front of all of these fans, yeah. this, this contract that she says is signed by the Pentagon? What do you think about it? Friends at FoxNews.com. It's an interesting debate, and it's obviously turning heads this morning. <sighs>